Hello everyone! Merry Blooming Christmas! Yes, it's Christmas Day and I am here on Christmas Day, although I'm not because I recorded this before Christmas Day. I just wanted to say thank you so much for this year, everyone who has subscribed, viewed, comment, shared, anything like that on my channel. I've gone from a very small number of followers to over 3,000 now, which is amazing in this year. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a break next week, but I'll be back in the new year with even more system reviews, versus videos, feature length documentary type things, and quick plays galore. This is the last day of the Christmas quick plays, and I'm going to leave you with not really a Christmas game, although it's a very Christmas game for me, because it's the game I spent all of Christmas Day 1991 playing. And here it is, Alex Kidd in Miracle World! Of course it is, because I received a Sega Master System Mark II for Christmas 91, and this is the game which was built into it. It was supposed to be a Mario Beta from Sega, originally released in 1986 in November in Japan, and then it came to Europe originally on cartridge. Um, but it was received so well in the West with, you know, some one magazine gave it 99%, I think it was Sega Pro, but Sega thought, oh no, we'll bundle this in with the Master System, and they did. And to be fair, it's a good game! Our protagonist is Alex Kidd, who features fists the size of a melon, and that's due to him learning the shell core technique. technique? of martial arts, which enables people to expand their fists and to destroy blocks of solid material and collect bags of money apparently. There's money in all these blocks. What a wonderful world Alex Kidd lives in. The basic premise is that... Oh, I can't really remember. Alex Kidd is some sort of prince unbeknownst to him and... Oh, good god. Oh, I forgot about those oh, those bloody ghosts! Um, and the king's being kidnapped and he discovers that he's a dead prince now and he's a live prince now and that he has to go and save him or something and things happen along the way. He punches some dragons in the face, uh, encounters various blocks and yeah, that's what happens. And you, oh yeah, and you get to play a lot of um, rock, paper, scissors, which is bloody annoying because all this part of the game is skill based and then you have to use rock paper scissors a game of pure chance to get on to the next level it's just ah oh, it's a pack of pack of donkey shit it's like um batman the movie game on the spectrum where you got so far and then you had to crack the joker's code which was ridiculously hard and not based really on skill more on chance than anything else it's like that. But still, I sunk a deplorable amount of hours into this game. Christmas Day 1991, my eyes must have been truly tested because this is the first games console I owned. I had a Spectrum before that, but, you know, I want this punch this fish. Can I not punch him? Oh, he shoots out. There we go, game over! <laughs> There's no save functionality or password in this game, so if you die, you go back to the start. Which is probably why I spent so long... What's he doing? What's he eating? Why well, I spent so long playing this game. And this starting music... Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo, is etched forever in my tiny brain. Probably... Uh, this map layouts of games probably take up far too much room in my brain. Oh, God. Probably why I failed miserably at school. Miserably. Too much brain data. Nah, didn't do that bad. But I'm sure it didn't help having all these map this map information in my head. Yeah, I think Alex Kid was supposed to be a monkey originally, because as you can see, he's got monkey-like uh, ears and stuff. And yeah, I'm not sure. I think I read that he was supposed to be a monkey, and then he developed into some sort of kid, which is what he is. And I'm not talking about the goat sense. So yeah, anyway, here, here I am, it's Christmas Day 2015, 
playing Alex Kid. Are you having a nice Christmas day? I hope you got lots of retro presents. Oh, the freezing block, I forgot about that. Oh, I can go over the top, can't I? I think, oh no, I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna punch you up, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid your bubbles and then... Yes! Take some of it. Oh, look at this fish! I love these fish! Oh, I can get past you, no problem, my friend. And you, and then round here, there's some sort of... Where's the exit? It's round here somewhere, isn't it? Can't remember. Oh, extra life. Oh, I, I've got a punch of those blocks. Right, gotcha. I remember. There we go. Boom! Level number two. Ah, the shop, of course. We get to go into a shop. Oh, my phone's ringing. No, no, sorry. I can't, I can't answer your call. I'm playing Alex Kid. Please buy the things that you like. Oh, I can't afford a bike! Oh, I want a bike so badly! I'll have this. What does that do? I cannot remember. Oh, if I... This is why you have to collect so much money in the previous level, because I forgot about that, because then you can buy a bike, and then you can speed through this level quicker than uh, ice whip it. Oh, I, I forgot there was a reason for the money. I'm so used to games just having arbitrary point systems, but when there's a purpose, it just blows my mind. Nope. I don't want to punch out those bottom blocks, really, because then I won't have a platform to get across the lava. Jump! Jump, Alex Kid! Jump! Jump! Like the frogs before you! Oh, this is so much easier with the bike on this level. How foolish I am. I think I would have learnt after all that gameplay from before. Oh. Oh, yeah, and on the bike you have to jump over those bits, I remember. Quite skillful, really. I want to. Oh no, you, you bloody frigid monkey-like bastard! No, Alex, kid, what are you doing, you reverend dick worm? Just punch the frog and move along with the game. There we go. No, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not even going to get to a rock scissor paper bit, am I? Come on, concentrate, man. I've got an extra life. I've picked up the extra life. I might get there if I concentrate. See, it's not it's not that much of an easy game. And the master system was aimed at younger the younger population, so Oh yes, yeah, so this used to frustrate the hell out of me. It's all coming back to me now. Christmas Day frustration. Come on you mega fisted bastard. I forgot how much I hated you. In a good way though. In a good way. So he wants to get rock scissors of paper. Rock scissors of paper. Jankin. More Jankin. Jankin is the name of the, um, the baddies in this, I believe. Or the protagonists, which are. Oh god, how many of these frog bits are there? I'm gonna die, aren't I? I can feel it. I'm gonna die. I haven't got the skill or the finesse to even attempt to get past this. Starting to sweat under the stress. Oh, what's this obstacle for? Just pay oh, so you have to get rid of your bike. That makes sense. Here we go. Rock to the scissor. Look at <laughs> his face is like a fist. It's brilliant. Stonehead. Okay, let's play some Jankin. The paper, scissors, or stone before the music stops. What should we go? Paper. Always paper. Always paper. You're going down, Stonehead! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Paper again! Haha, <laughs> this is gonna trick you. You can't fool me, Stone Face McGee! Oh, come on. Paper again! I. This is bound to win. This strategy cannot fail. Whose idea was it to incorporate this into the game? Okay, paper again. Yes! Yes, in your face, rock face! 
your massive eye and your exposed chest and you've, you've got three fists really haven't you? I'm going to just stick with this strategy. Well, I feel like I should change. <gasps> I feel like I should change the scissors. Oh god, this is a risk. No! Oh, too late now. Oh, good god, I should have kept with my strategy. And then you die! <laughs> That's how it goes! In the world of Alex Kidd in bloody Miracle World. Be a miracle if I ever play this again. Anyway! I'm going to take a break next week from uh, videos. I'll be back in the new year, like I said. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your Christmas day. Thank you for watching, and... Christmas farewells, if there is such a thing as that. Goodbye! <laughs>